Hey there and welcome to a new episode. Today we're going to try to answer the question if we can find a photography subject anywhere. I think we all of us can relate to days or even weeks or months where we feel in a kind of a rut and we feel uninspired and we feel everybody else we see online or in books has the better locations to shoot or the better subjects to shoot. So we, we went out today and we only have like one to maybe two hours of light left. We drove to the outskirts of Vienna. We are right on the border of the city in what's called the Viennese woods. And we got just going to drive around the car and see if we can find some interest in subjects we can maybe make a mini project out of or a scene subject or something we can explore further along the way. And yeah, that's basically the challenge we're going to set ourselves to try to answer today. As a camera, I have my, I know, again, newly acquired Mami uh, RC67. Finally, I, uh, yeah, finally I bought it. And uh, I'm loving it so far, but I only shot one roll so far with it. So it's also a bit of a camera test as well. Um, for now, I loaded it with some Lomo 800. I shot two rolls on the RB67 with this film already, and I really liked it. Um, and due to the fact that it's almost dark, so we loaded it with an 800 film. So yeah, let's see what we can find. So the first subject we found is this torn down, almost collapsing house. It's probably the last standing house of the city of Vienna, um, which is interesting in itself. And it's almost like eaten up by nature, covered in moss, all this kind of fauna surrounding it with flowers and plants and everything. And I think this house alone would be a subject for itself to just uh, make a small project out of it. So it's super interesting. I think I overexposed the first image, so I went back and took a second shot because I really liked the hole in the roof and how it sits there right beneath the street. I also bought a Polaroid back, or it actually came with the set of the RC I bought. Uh, I haven't shot anything with it. I actually just bought a pack of Fuji FP100C yesterday, which are ridiculously priced because they are not available anymore. But I was still super excited to try it out. So I guess I'm gonna try one image with it and then save the rest for another project. See if it works. See if it's worth the five euros the film costs. Let's cross fingers. It says because it's quite cold that we should wait about four minutes for the developing of the Polaroid. So 
So we'll see, four minutes on the clock. I think we're gonna head on back to the car, although this house is a super interesting subject. I actually wanna see if we can explore more and just see if we can find anything interesting on the in the woods surrounding Vienna. So let's go. So the four minutes are up, let's see if we got lucky. Ta-da! Pretty cool. I think the exposure could have definitely been higher because I had to go down to 1 60th of a second with 2.8. But it works and that's pretty cool. So I finished the first roll already. We're gonna cruise around and see if we can find one or two more subjects because the light is almost gone completely. Uh, I'm down to F4 and 125th of a second. And so we have a tripod with us and some light, but it, I don't know if we can use it and how I con conceptualized it in my head. So we will see what we can find and make do with the left of the light we have. Probably gonna make two exposures because I really like the setting here. The cool thing here is that the set I bought the RC in came with this cable release, which has a dual cord system. One goes into the lens and one goes into the camera body but you only have to press it once and it releases both systems, uh, which is pretty cool. I've never seen this before. To, so it was also manufactured by Mamiya. The guy said he bought it in, in the United States in like the early 2000s. So it was actually a pretty cool set. Never forget to pull out the dark slide when you shoot with the Polaroid back. One, two, three. So second Polaroid we shot today. I'm pretty excited if this one worked out. One, two, three. Ta-da! Welcome to day two of our experiment. We decided we want to extend this video a little bit and show you an even simpler example of how you can find a photography subject anywhere. So we basically set up a guideline to walk only five minutes of our apartment and to shoot a roll portrait 400, fill it up with 10 images, 10 interesting images. And yeah, it's going to be quite challenging. The light is not super interesting today, but we're still going to make the best of it and we see what we can find. There's a lot of like torn down buildings lately in our area because there's a bit of a gentrified place and a lot of new buildings getting, um, getting placed. So old ones are getting ripped down. And there's one we found right now. So we're gonna start with that one and work our way towards finishing this roller portrait 400. So let's go.
So actually the first scene we found here, we were pretty lucky. There's a huge house which uh, got torn down and there's some um, things left which are super interesting. It's like an old toilet just sitting there with kind of an old artwork right next to it. And yeah, super interesting. Pretty stoked we found this actually. As you see here, there's an old toilet still remaining with all the dust and crumbs of it. It almost looks like a war zone. It's pretty bizarre, but pretty interesting as well. This is just actually so cool. I mean, it's the best example of what you can find in your backyard. We are literally like 500 meters away from our apartment and found this gem of a place to photograph. I mean, who doesn't love a torn down building, huh? Anyone does. Okay, that was the last one, I promise. So I guess finding something to photograph always comes down to your motivation and your kind of eagerness to find some inspiration everywhere you go. It's easy just to say um, the place where you live or, or, the, or the people you know are not interesting, but I think it always comes down to your own intrinsic motivation if you really want to go out and shoot. There is something interesting to photograph pretty much everywhere, even in your own backyard, even in there's a siren going on. Hold on a second. So without having seen the photos yet, I'm pretty sure some will be boring, maybe some will be more interesting, but overall it will not be the best roll I've ever shot. But that's the point, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that you just go out and practice on your craft, go out shooting, and the more you do it, the more you will find interesting subjects anywhere you go. And that's basically the point, just to train your creative muscle. And if you go out and shoot a roll every, every day or every other day, you will accumulate an amount of images and maybe at the end of it you can make a scene out of it or just some small collection or even work on it for years to come and create a huge body of work and you can find interesting bits and pieces and just gonna continue working on some interesting topic which will crystallize out of all the images you shot so i guess that's that's the main point of this exercise so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please like and subscribe or leave a comment down below with any suggestions if you want to see more of my work check out my instagram channel or my website and see you in the next episode thank you bye